Alright guys, that's my new home gym. Alright, so I just wrapped up cardio this morning. That is actually the, my elliptical, that's where I do my cardio. And I'm gonna show you guys outside to my new home gym. Welcome to my home gym. Decided to put it outside, get a little bit of sunlight all the time now. Um, sort of bring me that into that like Cali vibe, that Venice Beach vibe. But anyways, first off, shout out to Fitness Element for hooking me up with the 25s. And then I've got the 80s. Um, I only had the 10s previously. Um, one of those uh, pull-up bar things. And then that's where my stand. But yeah, really, really simple setup. And this is pretty much all I'm gonna be using until I can get back to the gym or until I can change these weights up whenever fitness element element needs them back. But yeah, so I got just a little stand here for my laptop, listen to podcasts, watch some videos, learn things. I do that when I work out a lot. Um, and then yeah, I have my uh, workout plan. I'll share that with you guys in a bit. All right, so today is day one of my new cooking class that's virtual called On The Line. Uh, I told you it's one of my projects I started doing these, trying to do these every weekend so that I can be a little more intimate and personal and teach people how to cook and just have a little more fun. So let me show you guys the setup here. So simply in the kitchen, we've set up, this is what we call the mise en place. So I've got all the ingredients set up, everything's there. Got my lights, got my boom stands, um, all the equipment, everything. And then that's on Zoom. So what happens is basically, I'm gonna be going on with 10 people, 10 participants, and we just cook. I teach them a recipe, we troubleshoot, we cook, we eat, we chat. And we have a good time. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and sort of show you um, the mise en place for today's class. All right, so this is sort of my fry station, have it here. And then I got the sink, perfect. And this is all the mise en place. So mise en place is French for everything in place. And this is everything we're gonna need for today's class. Um, we're doing a Thai larb class. So Thai larb is like a Thai cold meat salad. Um, it's got sticky rice. We're also gonna do it with lettuce uh, lettuce wraps, a, amazing nam prick sauce that I learned. And yeah, so. It is on Zoom, and this is my my sort of my lighting, my one lighting, my key light. Learning these uh, these words, got that diffuser there. Um, but yeah, so this is it, and I actually will be shooting uh, a mise en place photo just to post pre class so that people can see and get ready for it. And uh, yeah, just check out the next one. I'll probably post it up and show you sort of the raw footage and then the edited photo, guys. So I just wanted to showcase how I do sort of my top down shots. Um, I love using and I've learned to use natural light just on the table right here. This is the setup and this is going to be all the mise en place for this first cooking class. But yeah, that's it. So like I said, this is my first class and it's also the first time I'm doing these on the line cooking classes and I'm really excited. So um, if you guys are interested in it, check it out. Um, go to my website, sixpackchef.com. I do a monthly menu. So every month I'll have four different recipes every Sunday and then you guys get everything there. But yeah, feel free, let me know if you guys wanna check it out, you wanna cook with me, we can make it happen, so let's do it. All right guys, so it is July 13th, Monday. Um, yesterday was my cooking class and originally I wanted to continue shooting, but I was just sort of troubleshooting and learning how to you know, reply emails and repost things and um, get ready for the next class. So I ended up not continuing to film, but I'm filming today. So yeah, so I guess before I start, um, what I have here is now it's melted, but it was a smoothie. And um, I do this a lot when I start dieting and cause I'm a, I'm a snacker, I love to snack, I like to munch. And this is what I do is I take um, frozen celery, I throw in some fruits in there. So this one is just pure celery though. I didn't have any fruits at the moment. And um, BCA, so I've got the Perfect Sports uh, Peach Candy. And then I fill that up, I frozen in celery and I just blend it. And this is like a low calorie, um, really healthy way to get a nice smoothie, get your hydration, but also craze my, uh, my snacking, my hunger. But it's, like I said, it's melted, it's really good. If you don't like celery, you don't have to use celery. But I have celery because it's actually what I have left over from a lot of my TikTok. So that's why I have some cucumbers too. Um, cucumber, celery, I all the stuff that I cut usually on my TikTok, I eat. Um, specifically this time, celery, cucumber. So anyways, I eat that, but... A little midday snack. Um, what I wanted to talk about, because yesterday I showed you guys my home gym, 
So I wanted to talk to you guys about um, my training. So how it works is right now, like I said, I've only got the 80 pound dumbbell uh, barbell. I've got our 25 pound dumbbells and then the, the push up or pull up bar and then that's it. And then the 10 pound dumbbells. So I'm trying to figure out how to make this the most optimal I can. And I'm also trying to learn to work out more optimally versus qua versus quantity. So I was talking to John and John was like, yeah, we'll work out five days a week. Weights, do them quick, do them fast, um, get the blood rushing and all that kind of stuff. So with that being said, I'm working out five days a week right now. Pretty much throughout those five workouts, I'll cover my entire body. So I'll start with arms and back and then I'll go into shoulders, um, legs and then chest. And I guess you guys can see this is like my fitness log, if you will, my training log. It's only because I'm at home, so I'm using just random paper. It's like, whatever. But it's really, really messy. Um, as you can see, there's all these like scratch marks and everything. And that's only because as I'm working out, they start off really, really clean. But then when you're in the in like the mode of working out and you're sweating, all this, you just want to cross it out and keep on going. So um, yeah, I used to do this a lot. And I stopped just because, I don't know, I just stopped. It got to a point where I changed workouts and all that stuff. It happens again. But I'm going to start doing this again just because it helps to figure out the weights that you used, progressive overload, um, whether you can track your your um, your progress in regards to strength or in regards to just hypertrophy. And yeah, so five workouts a week. Um, like I said, arms, back, shoulders, legs, chest. And how I'm doing it is I'm, because that's the only weights I've got, so I'm setting it up where I'm going to do four to five exercises, each body part. And I started off with three sets of eight. Now, yes, some exercises might be heavy, some exercises might be light, but that's my base because I have no clue what to start off with. I don't know how it is. Um, it's not like going to a regular gym, so I'm sort of building it up again. So what I do is then I'll start my first week. So last week I started my first week, I did everything three sets of eight. And then that was my base, whether it was easy or light or hard, I tried it and then I wrote it down. So I logged that in. And then this week's second week, so I'm halfway through, and as you can see, all these scratch marks and stuff is because then um, I then just uh, wrote down if it was harder, if it was easy, and I changed it up. So for instance, on arms, um, just dumbbell curls with the 25s. So I put three sets of eight, and obviously it was a little, it was too light the first time. So this week I started off with 12, and then I second set I did 10, and I was like it got hard, so I wrote 10 plus hard, and then pushed up two more. And then the last set, I did 10. I tried to do 10. I said hard again. And I said, maybe drop down to eight next week. So that's sort of how I work my fitness logs. And I'm going to do this for all this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and I, I love doing this. It takes a little longer, but it does help. I think the one of the times when I grown the most was when I did do a fitness log. Um, I talked to Terrence about this. Him, um, um, his coach, hyperfacy coach. All those guys, they are Joe Bennett. They're all about progressive overloading and tracking. So um, if they're, it's good enough for them, that's more than well good enough for me. But anyways, the reason I'm gonna do this is because I'm gonna keep on doing this until I can max out those weights and sort of use it to its full potential. Cause until fitness element needs to either take those weights back or they wanna give me new weights, then I'm gonna be using those. So I wanna try to max out as much as I can. But yeah, so that is my training regimen. And I think I'll probably do another um, progress update um, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow morning when, it, when I wake up or another day. And then I think, yeah, and that's pretty much, I think that'll be it for this vlog. Unless something crazy happens, um, which somehow, some way it usually will. But anyways, until then. Guys, so it's uh, the morning of July 15th, it's Wednesday. Um, just a little over two weeks since I did my first progress update, uh, July 1st, Canada Day. So I'm gonna do one now and we'll see what happens. I just woke up, I haven't had anything as usual when I do these progress updates. So last time I was 123 pounds. Let's see what happens here. And 124. All right, so pretty much gained a pound. Um, doesn't make that big of a difference. I feel different. So um, definitely gonna take some progress pictures now and we'll see if we made some progress. So as you guys saw, that was my update. And honestly, um, not too crazy. I'm not expecting crazy changes, but I do know that 
from like a mentally, physically, all of that, I feel amazing to sort of, um, you know, get back into routine, be able to wake up, do my cardio, get a workout in and start my day off good. Um, but yeah, so that's how we're currently looking at. And yeah, two weeks, um, as they say, it takes two weeks to get into routine and make it into habit. So excited, excited for what's to come.